Romney right now. There's a new Washington Post poll that uh, came out this morning shows Romney up by one over Barack Obama. How do you think things are going? I think they're going to get better. Look, I, I, what's happening throughout the summer is people are living life, you know, but now they're getting back to school. They're coming back home from their vacations and they're starting to focus in on the choice before them. And they're, over the next two weeks with this convention and then the Democrats next week, that'll become even more clear. Look, this election is not a choice between a Democrat and a Republican. We're voting on uh, what kind of country we want to be and what we think government should be doing in our, in our country. And we have two very different views of that. You know, Barack Obama's view is that the way the economy grows is because the government spends money and creates programs. Mitt Romney believes that the way the economy grows is with someone, people, when people have the money and the confidence to invest that money to start a new business or grow an existing one. Uh, two very different views and Americans are going to get to decide and I think that starts becoming clearer this week. Senator, one of the key, the key things you have to do is not only use your popularity with the Tea Party, but also let the Hispanic community know Republicans aren't all that bad. So far, it's overwhelmingly for President Obama, 68 to 23 percent. How do you close that gap in 65 days? Well, I don't know about all those polls that are out there. I think that's the same thing is happening in the Hispanic community that's happening throughout the country, you know, and that is people just aren't focused in yet, but they will be now. And I'll tell you what's happening in the Hispanic community. It's what's happening across America. It's people that are afraid about the future. They've lost their jobs. They're working twice as hard and making half as much. Their kids are graduating college and they can't find a job, but they're stuck with student loans and they have to move back in with their parents. This is real life. And I think Barack Obama is going to be held to account for that. He's going to have to explain to all Americans, including Americans of Hispanic descent, why things have not gotten better despite the fact mm -hmm. that he's gotten everything he's asked for. And, uh, and cool. that's where I think Mitt Romney's approach is going, to, is, going to be more, uh, is going to create an appeal to all Americans, especially those of Hispanic descent. Mm -hmm. well, Senator, some of that could be from the messaging that people hear from the media. Check out these numbers from a Fox News poll. Who do most members of the media want to win the election? Just regular people said 61% of the media wants Obama to win. Only 15% of the media, according to Americans, want Romney to win, and 17% are unsure. Uh, you probably knew this going into this, but do the numbers surprise you at all? Well, I think that's perception, and at the end of the day, most journalists I deal with are, are fair. Um, they may have personal preferences, but they try to be accurate and they try to give both sides, for the most part, of the folks that I've dealt with. Clearly, there are those who are partisan and they identify themselves as such, and there's no doubt about that. But here's the good news. It doesn't really matter because Americans today have access to more information than ever before. Uh, this yep. is not, we're not at the era where there were, you know, there was no Fox and Friends 30 years ago, 25 years ago. You got your news from three places. And now people really have right. choices and they have fair and balanced coverage, including this network and others. So, um, so we're, you know, Absolutely. I think people are more aware than they've ever been. Uh, one other thing people always say about the president of the United States, well, you know, he always wins in likability. But there have been so many negative ads, Senator, coming from uh, Mr. Obama's side, I had a couple of people tell me in the airport, we don't think he's that likable anymore. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a different Barack Obama. Barack Obama 2.0 is not the same person who was elected four years ago. You know, four years ago, I know people who had never voted for a Democrat that voted for him because they loved his story and they felt, you know what, we may not agree with him on everything, but he's going to elevate American politics. Boy, those days are long gone. I mean, his, this is as ugly and as nasty as I have seen a political campaign yep. in the last you know, six cycles I've been involved in or watching. Mm. All right. Well, good luck with your speech. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you when you make your way up north here to Tampa. Yeah, good luck in that car with the <laughs> 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 <laughs>